Hello Libra viewers. Sorry I was away for a while. I was just busy working at my other job, but I am back now. So let's get into it and see what's going on. And as always, you can get a reading from me anytime you want. Just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And that email is right below in the description box below this video. So let's see what's going on. Soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, domination and control, new love and faded encounter, finances, career, pride and stubbornness. Hmm. Sex and seduction. Fear of commitment. Hidden truth. Hmm. Put this up there. Loyalty, stability, vows. Listening and understanding, new perspective. Codependency and addiction and love offer. Commitment. This energy is actually confusing me, so I'm going to pull tarot cards. The energy I'm getting, though, is that someone was holding on to the past a little bit too much. Yeah, like someone like there might have been like a soul contract or something that kind of controlled someone for a while but they had a hard time letting go that could be you that could be your person but i feel like when this new love comes in or i feel like for a lot of you it probably already came in i feel like this person might have sabotaged it a bit because they didn't trust you and i'm wondering oh i'm getting it now hold on let me ask if they don't trust you because of something that happened in a past life I didn't, I was staring at this for, if I had to pause and stare at this for a few minutes. I'm like, what the hell is this talking about? And I'm like, wait a second. Is this, let me ask my pendulum. Is this, is this about a past life? Yes. Okay. Is Libra, God, is it Libra or Aquarius? I know that there's an air sign where I always, I'm channeling the same past life story Again and again. It doesn't always come up, but a lot of times it does come up. It's a past life story of two warrior souls. And one of them um, one of them died very violently and the other one had to watch it. So there's trauma in this current life because of that. But I want to say that's Aquarius. But maybe you're dating an Aquarius too. Maybe this is a match story here. I'm not sure. Or someone with a lot of Aquarius in their chart. Um, I feel like... Okay, when you met this person, and some of you haven't met them yet, I feel like most of you have already met them though, but you probably experienced some psychic epiphanies when you met them. You guys probably experienced, um, this is either a very deep soulmate connection or a twin flame connection. This is someone you've been with many, many lifetimes, but I feel like they have trauma based on a past life. I feel like you either, like you abandoned them in some way in a past life. Now, either you died or you might have just left them. It might have just been not the right time for you guys. Especially if it's a twin flame relationship. You know, twin flames mirror each other. So it might have been very chaotic in the past. There could have been a lot of arguments. And you might have just walked away. And they might have waited for you the rest of their lives. Thinking you were going to come back. And you just didn't. But I'm getting some kind of very deep, painful abandonment. I'm also hearing the song. Um, I don't know what the name of it is. But it's a Christina Aguilera song. Uh, it's really random. But the main lyric is, I'm sorry for blaming you for everything I just couldn't do. And I think it's, I hate myself for blaming you. I think it's, a, it's it, the, the music video from what I, I'm remembering it from years and years ago, but I think it's her at a circus or something like that. And I think it's about her father, I want to say. But I don't know if that's relevant to someone here. But anyway, um... Yeah, I feel, I feel like there's past life trauma. And so I feel like this person just didn't 
trust you for some reason. This could even be you. This could re this this there's something about a hidden truth coming out. So this could even be you. This could be you having a hard time trusting this person and you're not sure why you're so terrified of losing them and it's coming from this past life trauma. And maybe this reading is going to clear that up for you and make make sense of things. But you know, whatever role you're in, whether it's you or whether it's them, I just, yeah, I get a lot of fear. Like they really, it, the the loss was traumatic. Whether you actually died in front of them or whether you you actually just left them and they waited for you to come back, whatever it was, it, it was very um, traumatic. And I feel like, you know, when you guys met each other, I feel like it's just kind of like this love at first sight kind of thing where you just feel like you've known each other forever, just instant soul recognition. Like both of you just kind of feel as if, you know, like you, you just have this awareness of having these past lives together. But I feel like this person right off the bat didn't trust it. And it's because, you know, as in love as they were, or as much as they were falling in love with you, they also on some level picked up this past life energy, the, the trauma of losing you. It's like their soul hasn't forgotten what that felt like to lose you. And I'm not saying it's something they're conscious of. I mean, they could be conscious of it. It's totally possible that they are conscious of it, but I'm sure most of them probably aren't aware of it. They just know that they met you and that they started falling really quickly and that you opened them up psychically and then something happened where they just panicked and they don't fully understand why they panicked. They don't fully, I feel like this is someone that's usually fairly stable. And so they're a little baffled as to why they were so terrified of losing you, why, why they were so terrified of getting hurt by you. And it's this past life trauma. I feel like they kind of almost try to pull back and keep it in the shallow end, maybe focus on appearances, finances, career. Um, it's almost like, like prideful stubbornness, like trying to, you know, sex, seduction, fear of commitment, like trying to keep it in the shallow end. But I feel like a hidden truth is going to come out and it's going to cause this person to have a new perspective, to stop and get out of their head and listen and understand. And it says true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, your faith and your bravery. And I feel like this person, once this hidden truth is revealed, I feel like this person is going to want to commit. They're going to want to be loyal. They, they want to be stable with you. Because I feel like this person usually doesn't have severe commitment issues. This feels like somebody who's actually usually very stable. And so I think it probably baffled you as well because you're like, I'm hearing like Derek and James for someone. Um... But yeah, it probably baffled, I'm hearing Samantha, but it probably baffled you as well because you, you saw this person's track record and you're like, okay, like this person's been married or this person's, you know, has kids or this person's, you know, been in these long-term relationships. Why the hell are they so terrified of me? We, we just met not that long ago. Why are they so scared? I think it confused you as well. But, but yeah, it's past life trauma. When this hidden truth is revealed... Which it might, you know, they're really opening up psychically. So they might even have dreams about your past lives. They might actually just start remembering parts of your past lives. And they're going to kind of recognize like, oh, wait a minute, this lifetime is different. That's not for all. That's just for a few of you. But for a lot of you, I think it's just like more, you know, getting to know you. They're, they're going to develop a new association with you. They're going to start working through that past life trauma. And, you know, they're going to let themselves get into this, this, this addiction, this passion, this romance, they're going to want to make this love offer to you. Once this hidden truth is revealed, it could even be for a few of you, for a few of you, this could even be something that um, triggered them regarding your past life. Like maybe you gave them an ultimatum and there's nothing wrong with that. I totally understand giving someone an ultimatum if they're not getting it together. But maybe it was something like that where they, they like their abandonment issues kicked in and they panicked and it reminded them of the past life even though they weren't completely conscious of it. Because um, like I said, I mean, some of them might might be aware. Like if they're really psychically in tune, then maybe they do know that there's some past life stuff between you. But I'm guessing most of them probably aren't. Most of them probably just, you know, they just know that they're terrified of losing you. They're terrified of abandonment with you and they can't pick, put their finger on where that stems from. So, but once this truth is revealed, and, and this truth could be, so I mean, it could be, pa you know, past life memories. Um, I feel like it could also have been something that triggered them in this lifetime that reminded them of that life. Like, let's say you, 
It could have been something simple. It could have been you went on vacation for a couple of weeks and you were a little bit distant. It could be that you told them that you need some time to figure out yourself or figure out your career. And it just like triggered them like just something, something that would have reminded them of being, you know, abandoned by you in, in the past life. Um, but I feel like once this hidden truth is revealed, like once this person kind of recognizes like, hey, that's not, that's not what's going on this lifetime. Like I think that they just, they need a new association. So be gentle with this person, you know, keep in mind that this person does have this trigger. And so their fear of abandonment with you might be completely unreasonable. Like it might, it might make you kind of think this person's a little cuckoo. Like it might be like, dude, like I just, I went out of town for a week. You need to chill. But, but, you know, you got to understand it's not about that. It's really about what happened in your past lives. It's really, it, you know, that's where that's stemming from. But I feel like they've actually shut you out for a long, for a while. They've tried to keep it in the shallow end because these, you know, these fears already came up for them. And then they kind of distance themselves and try to focus on career, finances, um, maybe even sex, maybe even third parties, or maybe even with you, you know, trying to, to make it just sexual, even though you knew there was something deeper there. You know, but their fear of commitment, their fear of abandonment, again, really got in the way here. Um, I was going to pull tarot cards, but I think I figured it out. I didn't, I couldn't figure, I couldn't put my finger on this energy at first. It took me a few minutes, but I'm like, okay, makes sense now. <laughs> and as always, if this is your story and you want a private reading and you want me to go more in depth into this, you know, figuring out the details of the past life, figuring out the details of, you know, how they're feeling now, what they're wanting with you, where they're at, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And that email is right below in the description box below this video. So you can just copy and paste it and email me. But what else do you need to know right now about the situation? Vulnerability, receptivity, divine intervention. Yeah, I think the divine is intervening to kind of show them that it's this lifetime is different, that it's safe to be vulnerable with you, it's safe to love, it's safe to taste, take, to taste, it's safe to taste, it's safe to, <laughs> sounds very sexual, doesn't it? It's safe to take this risk with you, that they will be rewarded for it. Bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Yeah, fast moving energy. So I think they're going to have these epiphanies and I think they're going to want to come back in. And I think they're going to feel stupid for shutting you out. You know what I mean? Like, I think, you know, be patient with them. Understand that. Understand that they they don't understand why they're doing it either. You know what I mean? Like their, their abandonment fears, they, they don't understand where it's coming from either. This person is usually very stable. This person is usually not the type that gets freaked out. So they're, they're confusing themselves too. So just keep that in mind. Even, I mean... I'm not saying it's okay that they're confusing you, but just please keep in mind that they're confused themselves. They're confusing themselves. Like, they don't understand it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like in the past, you might have been trying to get answers from them. They're like, what the hell? How do you feel about me? Why are you so confused? Why are you so scared? Why are you sabotaging? Why are you running? Why are you trying to keep this in the shallow end? Why are you, why are you so convinced I'm going to abandon you? And... I feel like some of you thought like, oh, that they were hiding something, that they were like in love with somebody else or they just didn't care about you. But you have to understand, no, like they were just as, as confused as you were. That's why they couldn't give you the answers like they wanted because I feel like some of you asked them again and again, like trying to figure out where you stand with them and they couldn't give you the answer because they really didn't understand they were just as confused, if not more confused than you were like they didn't they didn't understand why they were so afraid, why they they felt like they were going to get their heart ripped out if they let you in. Like they really didn't understand that fear. So understanding that it stems from a past life, I feel like, like, I don't, I mean, some of them will actually remember the, remember details of the past life, but others will just kind of have this sort of recognition. Like, you know, the, like they said, the divine is stepping in for a lot of them. And some of them are just going to kind of have this recognition, like, oh, wait a minute, like it's safe this time. Okay. This, this, this isn't the same as the last lifetime or whatever lifetime that was where I got my heart broken. Um, choose your words wisely. Again, you know, be patient with them. If they're completely running, like if they're like ghosting you, that's not okay. I'm, I'm not excusing that. But I'm just saying like if they get a little bit like scared or like they get a little bit clingy when you're out of town, like try to understand where that stems from and try to try to be understanding 
um, as they kind of adapt and start realizing that this lifetime is different. So I hope that makes sense. Um, like I said, if you want a, a private reading, just email me. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Please share because I actually feel like some of you might have people on your friends list like Facebook or wherever that, that might need this message. So, so please share these, uh, these videos as well. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.